Peter King of NBC Sports, and this is my 40 for 40 for 2012. You know, I think 39 of the 40 years I've covered the NFL, my greatest memory is going to be something fairly happy, some big game, some fun story I did, some great uh, conversations I've had with people. But there's only one incredibly sad story I'm going to tell you, and that is from 2012. That's because on December 1, 2012, Javon Belcher, Kansas City linebacker, murdered his girlfriend, then went to the parking lot at Arrowhead Stadium and turned the gun on himself. So this murder-suicide was the talk of football, obviously. It was incredibly sad. And I bring this to you not necessarily because of the murder itself, but the reaction of one player on Kansas City, and that was quarterback Brady Quinn. Now, I knew Brady Quinn very well, and I felt terrible trying to get a story out of Brady Quinn about this, but I found him to be a genuine human being, and I just wanted to know how he was doing, how he was processing this. And I'll never forget the line. It will stick with me forever. He said, you know, none of us saw this coming, and I wonder if we would just simply get off our phones and we would say to people, hey, how are you doing? And really mean it. And ask them with legitimate care. You got any problems? Anything going on in your life? Can I help you? But we just stick our faces in our phones. And I truly believe that from here on out, I'm going to actually say to people, how are you doing? And I'm going to mean it. Because I think in this particular case, we could have done something to help Javon Belcher. And that is my story, 40 for 40 for 2012. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.